So now we've created that form, we need to create the life cycle in which that form is going to exist. So, uh, I, as you saw earlier, we, uh, we defined the, the workflow by using state diagrams. So the, found, the, the fundamental building block of our workflow is a state. And I believe we said that this would be in draft as the first state. So we'll make that the start state of the workflow. And you can see that we can control a number of different attributes of the form uh, in the states. Who can read it, the, the sort of security that we have, and also what fields are visible and editable and required in each of those states. So we're going to make the fields we created uh, visible and editable, but we'll only make type of leave required. Having done that, we should now be able to go and build our form on the fly. So we go out of the configuration section, we go to the standard section, press new document, and the, the Ability Suite eForms tool is going to build that form for us on the fly, and, and there it is, the, the form that we saw earlier. So uh, we could fill that out if we were a, a user. Um, send the approval to my colleague Mark Presnell, put some leave um, for demo. And what can I do with this form at this time? Well, only save and close because we haven't created any workflow for this um, form to pass through. So that's the next step really. We can go back to this configuration section, go to states and actions and create another state. Now the second state of our state diagram was um, for approval <coughs> and we'll make all of the fields available and we'll make none of them editable in this case. And now let's make an action that transitions the document between those two states. So the actions are where the real power of the workflow tool uh, comes to play. There are a number of different options here and they essentially unveil different parts of the capability to you. If you notice I go to one of these um, tabs, there are no options there but if I um, tick appropriate um, sections in the, in the basics document, those are unveiled and that makes it easy for you to fill out the appropriate tabs um, as required. And what we want is a transition because we're going to go from one state to another. Um, we're going to go call this transition, send for approval. And it starts in, in the in-draft state and it goes to the for approval state. And we want it to notify the approver. So we're going to select who should I notify by email. Value found in the approval field. The subject is going to be uh, please <coughs> approve this leave request. And we can put part of the information on the leave request form into the title of the email. So we'll put the type of, type of leave there. And then what is in the body of the email? Um, please review and approve or decline, although we haven't created the decline um, uh, option yet. So now we save and close that. And as you can see, we're building the, the life cycle of this e-form. So we have the in-draft state as the start state, we have a for approval state, and we have a transition that goes send for approval um, between states one and two, and that's a user activated state. In fact, I spelled four wrong, but uh, that only serves to highlight that uh, it's not a cooking show, I guess. So we can open up the document that we created before, and we see that's the leave request system, leave request form, it's in draft, currently owned by Ross Mitchell. So we've got a history building up on this on this uh, e-form. And what can I do with that now? You notice we now have a send for approval action. If I activate that, that will now generate the email, send a link, and if I want to view that document by status, we can see that it's, um, it's for approval. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the states and actions and we'll now create an escalation so that if in, a, in the approved state or for approval state nobody does anything it, it starts notifying the requester that nothing has been done. So we create an action and we're going to make this a automatic action and the trigger is going to be um, 
from the date into the current state, so when we sent it for approval and we'll say if it hasn't been looked at for two days, um, what do we want it to do? We want it to notify the initiator that the leave hasn't been approved. So uh, your So your leave request has not been actioned um, and the type of leave <coughs> and the messages um, the approver has done nothing and we'll send you a doc link to that. We'll call us Escalate and it's in the for approval state. So now we can save and close that. And now what you see is that in the for approval state we have a, a um, automatic action that stays in state two but does something. Um, and in, in this case that something is it sends a notification. Hi, Nigel Lloyd from Global Science. We require the tool to manage a number of our business processes. We've been using the Ability Suite for four to five years, which incorporates the e-forms and workflow, and this has been very successful for us. Okay, so that's it. Um, what I've done is partially uh, configured the leave request form that you've seen in the state diagrams. What I suggest is if that's of interest to you, you download the, the partially completed application um, from the URL that's on your screen right now. Um, and have a play with it, see if you can finish the state diagram off. And what you'll find is that it's very easy to produce e-forms with workflow and Lotus Notes uh, without development and very simply. And it shouldn't be too much of a jump of imagination to see how you can apply the same concepts to other workflows that you may need, such as complaint processes, returns, invoice approvals, that sort of thing. What this product does is delivers on the promise of Lotus Notes without the high cost of development. Anyway, thank you for watching and um, download the, the application and, and have a crack.